Best friend. 
You're my guiding light, a beacon that snatches me from the darkness, a warmth that pulls me from the cold. You're the sun in my sky, and the fire in my heart. You're the first thing I want to see when I wake up in the morning, and the last thing I want to see before I go to sleep at night. You look beautiful today, but you always look beautiful. As beautiful as you are in this moment right here, right now, you always have been, you always will be. You're the kindest, warmest, most genuine person I've ever known, and you radiate beauty inside and out. Gina, I vow to cherish you for all of our days. I vow to spend the rest of our lives cherishing you the way you've cherished me these last five years. I vow to communicate and to listen. I vow to give and accept apologies, to take care of you in sickness and in health, to encourage and support you, to always let you have the last ice cream sandwich, <laughs> to always turn the living room light off. Mostly, I vow to love you wholly and completely, to share the joys and heartaches of our lives together, to share in the harvest of a seed we planted five years ago underneath the fireworks in New Albany when I was too nervous and aloof to hold hands under the blanket we were sharing. <laughs> Today, I join my life to yours, not only as husband, but as confidant, as lover, as a shoulder to cry on on rainy days and a hand to hold on to on sunny days. Gina, I want to make my life forever yours and I want to build my dreams around you. I am a better person because of you. I give you my name and I give you my hand because you've given me so much more. <laughs> Eugenia, will you offer your vows to Chris Kirk? Oh, it's not fair. He went first. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, boy. Okay. Whew. Chris, you'd think a writer would have no trouble writing wedding vows, but it was hard for me to put you into words because I love you in ways I have never loved anyone else. But I can say this. I believe in you, the person you will grow to be, and the couple we will be together. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband. I acknowledge and accept your faults and strengths as you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will make sure our home is a warm and welcoming shelter against the world. I will treat your parents and family as my parents and family. I will be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. I know marriage isn't easy. I know tough times are ahead. I don't want to marry you just because we can, and I'm wearing a pretty dress, and we get to go on a honeymoon. I want to marry you because marriage is hard. Debt and bills and relatives and jobs and blending two families is hard. And you're the person I want to go through the hard times with. I trust no one else to fight as hard as you will at my side to slay all the dragons. They say matter is neither created nor destroyed. The stardust that makes up my body and the stardust that makes up your body has always been around. And here we are, having found each other once again. For the rest of this life, I'll never put myself through the pain of seeking you. In the next life, I hope to find you even sooner than I did in this one. And then again, I won't let go. My heart is so full of you, I can hardly call it my own. And yet I give it to you now. I have always loved you. I do love you. And I will always love you. It's simple as that. It is now that Christopher and Eugenia wish to exchange rings as a token of these vows they have promised each other here today. Christopher's finger, please repeat after me. 
Christopher, I give you this ring. Christopher, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment and the desire of my heart. As a symbol of my commitment and the desire of my heart. May it always be a reminder. May it always be a reminder of my never-ending love. Of my never-ending love. And of the precious treasure I have in you. And of the precious treasure I have in you. From this day forward, from this day forward, we shall be united as husband and wife. We shall be united as husband and wife. Christopher and, your, and Eugenia, no one but you can declare yourself married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows before your family and friends. And you will do it again in the days and years to come, standing by each other, sharing all that is sweet and bitter in life. Each tender act, each loving word, will be the declaration of what was made here today. Therefore, it is my joyful responsibility to officially acknowledge your union as husband and wife. And you may now seal your marriage with a kiss.